Hey guys, Alex here. Today we're going to talk about the WGU computer science degree. I've had a couple of videos on this degree in the past. It's an amazing degree. Uh, probably most of my viewers on this channel uh, have watched this degree and the WGU cybersecurity degree. So we're going to go over a deep dive of this degree, which is something I haven't done. I've done a deep dive of the software engineering degree at WGU, but I've never done a deep dive of this degree. I'm not going to cover every single class in this program. That would make this video really long. So I'm just going to co cover what I think are the most important classes in the program, the most fundamental classes in the program. I'll not be covering the software engineering class because I think that is a filler class. It's just like a two day writing assignment. You know, that class is not very important in this degree program. And it's a very simple class that I think is a filler class. So I won't be covering that one, but I will be covering all of the classes that are important to the curriculum that are in any other computer science degree program. And these classes show you the basics. You know, they show you the basic fundamentals of computer science. And if that, if that said class at WGU has an OA, a PA, a project, like what does that class have? So we're going to go over it right now. I'll explain what the class is and I'll explain what the class at WGU presents. So let's get into it. We're going to start with web development foundations. First class guys, web development foundations. So this will be an OA class at WGU, meaning it is an exam, a test. So this class is important if you want to be a software engineer. Uh, the most common job of a software engineer is a front end developer. So basically you will work on the front end of websites, how websites look. So this class will cover the very basics and fundamentals of HTML and CSS. So you'll learn the very basics of that and how they work. You know, you're not going to do any hands on application here. It is just a test and you're going to, it's just going to feed knowledge into you. So, you know, the basics, you know, you know, the definitions. Um, I have heard people have had trouble with this course, but, uh, most people pass this one, you know, with enough studying, you know, look at Reddit, look at WGU course chatter and look for some tips and tricks. Um, also, like I said in my WGU How to Accelerate video, which I'll put in the description again, the, the way to pass these OAs is take the PA right away. This is what worked for me. But take the PA right away, and whatever you didn't do well on, you know, study that. And also study every single question and study every single answer. And whatever broad category that question belongs to, whatever broad category any of the four answers belong to, study the entire thing. So every single question on the PA matters in the sense that something similar will be on the OA. Guys, next course is discrete math. This is an important class in any single computer science degree program. It's going to be in any computer science degree program. This class is unavoidable. So discrete math, it, are you going to use it much on your job? Perhaps or perhaps not. It is. It does play a role in interviews, though. You know, this discrete math will help you with solving leak code problems. It will help you with algorithms. So discrete math is a fundamental, uh, fundamental math in algorithm design, cryptography, graph theory. It is just very important to know as a computer scientist. You know, it makes you look at math differently. Basically, you explore math with objects, um, sets, logic, you know, probability, uh, just a whole different type of math. And to really truly understand how things work, you know, from a computer perspective, discrete math is pretty necessary. This class is pretty hard at WGU and any university for that matter, although it is very passable at WGU. Although I would recommend taking this class at study.com because it is easier there than a standard university and easier than WGU. So if you have not enrolled yet, I would take the class over there at study, but you can take it at WGU as well. So discrete math, important part of any computer science program. Actually learn this. Don't try to breeze by it. I mean, you're not going to pass if you breeze by this one anyways. This is something you actually have to learn. So discrete math, very important. Next course is all of the Java courses. So there is three Java courses in this computer science degree program. So you're going to learn Java pretty well. The first class is Java fundamentals. This class is an OA, pretty easy class. Obviously, you might not think it's easy if you've never had any programming knowledge, you've never done Java, then it might be a little hard. But all you need for this class 
is the textbook, the online textbook. You don't need any other material. You should be able to pass this class within 10 days, even if you know absolutely nothing about programming in Java. Now, if you do know about Java and programming, you should be able to breeze by this class within a matter of a few days. So very easy class, uh, even if you're a complete beginner. And then you have Java Frameworks, which is you know a pretty difficult project. Uh, so a project class, this is each each Java class gets a little more difficult. So in this one, it has three or four parts where you will be completing a Java project. And then we go to advanced Java. In this class, you'll be completing another project, which is even more advanced level. So these Java classes get a little harder. It starts off with a very basic class, intermediate class, and advanced class. So you will get a hands-on experience. Uh, the great thing about the WGU degree is you do get hands-on experience. It's not just theory. There is a lot of application in this WGU degree where you can actually build things and you can actually, you know, put it on your resume. So all the Java classes, they're going to teach you a lot. And here we are with another course, Computer Architecture. This is another important course in any computer science curriculum. This will be a part of any computer science major. And usually if you do an associate degree first, this is where you will find that class. It will be in the associate of computer science degree. But if you go straight to the bachelor level and start out with a bachelor's, it will also be in that program. So computer architecture, I think it's a very enjoyable class. I do think the one at WGU though is very hard, <laughs> is a hard exam. So yes, this is an OA. It is not a project. It is an OA and it is, it is a difficult OA. My suggestion on this course is to read almost all of the material, digest it, we're in a computer science degree to learn these type of classes, right? Computer architecture is fun. We want to learn how computers work. I mean, you know, we want to learn, like this is one of the fun courses. I had fun taking it, although it is difficult, you know, so not everything that's fun is going to be easy, right? There is going to be some difficulty, but this is the good kind of difficulty. This is going to be a class you're going to enjoy. Even if it makes you want to pull your hair out a little bit, it's something you will enjoy and something you are in this degree to learn. You know, you're here to learn programming, you're here to learn computer architecture, you're here to learn operating systems. You know, these are the things you want to learn in computer science. So computer architecture, uh, very good class. Uh, the class is hard at WGU. So, you know, just like I said, digest all the material on this one. This one might take you a little longer than the usual WGU class. All right, so data structures and algorithms one. So this course at WGU is uh, moderately difficult. It's not as difficult as the Data Structures and Algorithms 2 class, which we'll get into a little later. Uh, but Data Structures and Algorithms is something you need on every single interview. And not every single interview, but most companies do give you a leak code problem for you to solve, which is based off Data Structures and Algorithms. So this course is extremely relevant to work. Now, is it something you're going to be doing on the job? No. These are purely to pass interviews. Uh, you might experience it on the job depending on what you're going to do, but for the most part, this is just something you're going to experience on an interview. So you want to digest the material for this class. You want to learn it. This is something you need to pass interviews. Extremely important. Like I can't tell you enough how important this is. While I say that, I still would probably do this class on study.com. I feel like it's a good course there and it's easier than WGU. And then you'll still get some really good data structures and algorithms in the data structures and algorithms two class at WGU. So totally up to you. Either platform is fine. All right, guys, now we're in back end programming. So you learned earlier about web uh, foundations, which teaches you HTML and CSS. But for for uh, everything that's front end development, there is back end development, back end programming. So back end programming is everything that happens on the back end. So, you know, you're not designing something. You know, you're actually making it all work with code. You know, it's like you're programming it to function. You're programming it to do a certain task. You know, like, hey, if you push this button, it's going to do this. You know, back end programming is how it all works. So uh, in this course at WGU, I believe it is a project. And for this, you are going to set up a database. And this database is for a web application. And you're not just going to set up a, uh, 
the database. You're actually going to, you know, you're actually going to like make it work. You know, you're gonna uh, insert data. You know, you're gonna make sure the web application is functional. Like there's a lot of moving parts to this course. So, you know, if you've never done any kind of backend work, like you're in for a real treat on this one, it's probably gonna be a little difficult for you as well. So you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn a lot in this class. So backend programming, uh, good course. Operating systems for programmers. This is a course in any computer science curriculum, a very important course, a core class in any computer science major. So operating systems, you're gonna learn how computers work. You're gonna learn how basically the main component of the computer software, which is the operating system. You know, you got Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS, for example, right? So an operating system is the basically the software uh, that makes everything work. So you're, this class is an OA, it's a test, and I would compare it to computer architecture. Uh, it, and the exam is pretty hard. So the exam is pretty hard on this one. It's because it's so broad, you know, like you can study, 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 and the exam is so broad on this one that you don't know exactly what you're going to get on the OA. So, but just keep studying, uh, look at some outside materials, uh, anything operating system related, you know, look at the WGU course chatter and Reddit and see how they pass this class fast and you should be good to go. So operating systems, definitely some material you need to know, definitely a course you need to know. So, and of course, this is one of the things we're here to learn, right? Operating systems. That is a fundamental course in computer science. Discrete math two. A class you may have read is the hardest class in this program. Some might disagree but most agree that this is the hardest course in the program. It is an OA, it is a test. So it's like discrete math one, but much more difficult. So passing this course, basically you need to know the discrete math fundamentals. You also can benefit from the playlist I will put in the description, which is Trev Tudor. He has a discrete math two playlist. I know a lot of people found that helpful. So there's three things that will help you pass the course. One is that playlist. Two is watching the cohorts for this class. And three is taking the practice assessment, studying whatever you missed. Uh, like I said, with any other PA, just like I said, um, go for the question and whatever is related to that question, study. You know, So study the actual question, study any category or any kind of thing that is related to that question. You know, so those three things will help you pass this class. I've read many people didn't even open the textbook on this one. So textbook, not that good on this class. You know, stick to video instructions, the cohorts, uh, YouTube playlists, any kind of outside material you can possibly find that will help you understand the material. Like in a, in, in any kind of advanced discrete math playlist will help you out. So discrete math two, hardest course in this degree program. Uh, even if you can't pass it, and I'm sure you guys will, I'm sure most of you will pass this class, but if you can't, there's plenty of other programs as well, including WGU's software engineering. So do not fear, you're gonna get a degree. Structures and algorithms two. So this class will be somewhat similar to data structures and algorithm one. It will be a project. This class is more difficult than the first one, but it's not too difficult. So it's a pretty intermediate class. And once again, guys, make sure you pay attention to the material. Make sure you pay attention to this class because like I said, you need this to pass interviews. You need to know how data structures and algorithms work. And the fact WGU has two of these classes is pretty amazing. So, you know, you're gonna be even more prepared for an interview than some other computer science degree. Introduction to artificial intelligence. So this class might sound like a lot of fun. AI is the new booming thing. And you know, artificial intelligence just sounds fun, right? Like a lot of you might be taking this degree because AI sounds fun and you want to learn about AI. So this class, uh, kind of out of date, so I've heard unless they've updated it recently, but it's somewhat out of date and it's not the best material either. So you're gonna have one paper and you're gonna have one project. You know, the project is ran on some pretty not so good software and you know, you're gonna be grateful like when you finish the class. This class is not difficult, it's just long. So it's a long course, 
and you really don't feel like you get too much out of it. You'll learn about AI and you'll learn how to put some AI, AI project together, but for the most part, you're, gonna, you're not gonna think too highly of this class in my opinion. So introduction to artificial intelligence, I do feel like this class can use some adjustments, uh, not overly difficult, just a little longer than most of the other courses. There's a lot to do in the project and there's a lot to do on the paper. So overall though, you really hustle, you should still be able to get this done in like a week. Scripting and programming applications. So this is basically an intro to C++ class unless that has changed. But this course, if you're completely new to programming, if you're completely new to computer science, this is kind of a weed out class. It is disguised as a beginner level class when in reality it's more of an intermediate class. So sometimes this class will throw you right into the deep waters without much experience and you're gonna be frustrated. And sometimes you might wanna quit the program. You know, if that happens, just collect your thoughts, take a break. I guarantee you, you will pass this course. If you invest enough time in it, clear your head. The project is absolutely passable. It can be a little rigorous, a little difficult, especially if you're a beginner, but just spend time learning. You know, uh, find a good C, uh, C++ video playlist on YouTube find some C++ resources, and find some help on Reddit and Course Chatter, WGU Facebook groups uh, of how they pass the course. So there's help everywhere. You will pass this course. So now we're gonna get into the data classes. There's three data classes at WGU. Data foundations, you have data management applications, and you have an adv advanced data management. So I can't really comment on these classes too much because I did not take them at WGU. I took them on study.com. I would recommend definitely taking at least the data foundations class on study.com because it's very easy there, very easy. It's one of the easiest courses I took on there regarding computer science. Whereas on WGU, I have heard data foundations is hit or miss for some people. It is an OA, some people struggle with it. But I did find something on Reddit from a comment, uh, Josh Stells uploaded a sheet to Google Drive that explains exactly what you should study. Uh, he claims he did not make this sheet himself. He found it on Course Chatter on WGU. So big credit to whoever made it and big credit to Josh Stells for uploading it. So um, if you do not want me to post the link in the description, please let me know, but I'm going to post it in the description so people can view it and hopefully pass the class. Uh, data management applications is another OA, um, and then advanced data management is a project, and I heard it is a intermediate level project. Not too difficult, not too easy. So there's all of your data classes at WGU, and obviously data is important everywhere. Uh, databases is something you, didn't, you need to know regarding any job you do uh, regarding computer science whether you're gonna be a software engineer, data engineer, cloud engineer, cybersecurity, like anything. Databases is like the one thing for every job field that you need to know. And that'll be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this computer science deep dive. If it helped you at all, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I have more videos upcoming, some WGU videos, some other schools, and some non-related uh, school videos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and more videos are coming in the future. I wish you the best of luck on this computer science degree program. If you are interested in master's degrees, I have a cybersecurity WGU master degree video out, and I will be covering uh, a video on OMSCS, which is the Georgia Tech computer science master program, which is a degree I'm currently doing, and I will go over other computer science master degree programs as well. So thank you very much for tuning in. Always appreciated, guys. I hope you have a great day.